Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Horizon Zero Dawn. Last episode wasn't too special, but we made our way towards Gaia Prime. Now that we're here, it's time to go in and see what we can find. Thank you. Search the ruins for the Master Override. Well, that'll be the way down. Let's see if there's anything else we can find in here first. Like in here. Gaia Prime Arrival Log. Logging arrivals, Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hell. Population 10. 11 counting Gaia. Don't count your chicken embryos before they incubate it, hon. She's still firing up. Be a while before you eat that omelet. I'm vegan, Travis. You'd think we'd worked in the same secret base long enough for you to notice. We weren't scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre-code smut comics in transit. <laughs> Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? Can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. And in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. Figured I was gonna pass the time archiving them. What about you? Huh. Me? At work, I guess. My task queue stretches out for like <coughs> three years. There's a lot of sharp edges to round off. After that, I hadn't really thought about it. Oh, you will. You what, 30? Rick, can you be the one turning the lights off at the end? Food for thought, huh, vegan? This sucks forever. Huh. Nah, not forever. Just the rest of your life. Well, that was a depressing way to end that. Mind your footing. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the heads up there. Impressive that anything managed to survive this. Just be repelled down here. There is a path over here, although I think this is where we came from. Although, there does appear to be something here. Hidden room. What's in here? Huh? A power cell. A power cell. If I find more, I should be able to get to that ancient armor I found. I'm pretty sure I probably missed a couple. In uh, in other rooms. Okay, that's probably going to be like an end area. Because that's going to be a zip da back down. More or less. I guess that's my way across. The cross is where I need to go, I guess. Okay, this is, uh... Is that a traffic light? That looks like a traffic light. Why is there a traffic light here? You know what, never mind. Don't think, Aloy. Just do it. Alright. Talk about close. It's, uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well... D don't answer. Yeah, um, that well was enough. <coughs> <sighs> 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 
Oh, glad that's over. Yeah, fortunately, that was relatively e relatively easy to get through. Let's keep going. <coughs> Found another floor here. Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft. Ah, this was down. We shouldn't have gone down. We should have gone up. Okay, my mistake. There we go. It does look out, looks like there's nothing there for me. This must have been where they lived. What's left of it? Once this was all enclosed by rock and metal. Once. Looks like we got a room we can look in here. Margot Shen Log. Accord. I just woke up. It's... I see the numbers, but I can't make up the time. I was dreaming of... Uh, I was giving a lecture in Q Hall. Maybe it was something more... shamanistic. I, I don't know. An audience of shadowy faces under a blank, open sky. I told them the world ended with a bang. A plague of robots. But the last humans. We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started, huddled around a flickering glow. The heads of state, the Fortune Fives, the leaders, and lottery winners, and life cults, all of them buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Gaia Prime, no different. A multitude of tiny societies taking hold, flary, dying. Some will be beautiful, some horrific, and none of them matter. Short-term civilizations. One last gasp, one last gasp before the long-held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself, to a quiet planet, a barren sphere. Just Gaia and her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. Man. It is kind of poignant the way it the way she pointed out it ended as it began. What have we got in here? Nothing in this room. That's the way we should go. Nothing over here. Alright, this way then. Oh, there's another log here. Charles Ronson's log. Evacuation happened so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Paik I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of parody Saiyan zygotes I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. Angry at myself for... Well, he died alone. And I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. Oof. All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium, sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the Betas and Gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an Alpha, if things had gone differently, 
I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with. Given a chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. A thought indeed. Some people just didn't get what they needed. Or wanted. Head back up here. Nothing around here. How about this way? Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. Gaia Journals, Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Solid state storage devices. Cursory scan indicates severe data corruption from impact and exposure damage. All right, well, we have five logs here. Sobek Journal 11 File damaged under repair. 7 under da damage under repair. 10 31 3rd of February 2065. All damaged under repair. Well then. I guess we go this way. Oh. Elizabeth. What is this? A shrine? <coughs> this is Charles Ronson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a ten millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now who would I signed up for? Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen, the swarm's too close. Really, it's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out, that's what she does. Not like this, there's so much we- Guys, you know me, I'm, I'm no good endings at letting things end, so, um, let's not. So, Happy trails, Liz. And uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. I want to go home. Goodbye. That was the 
gave last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Well then. Silence is here, but there's more to look at here first. Rest in peace from Ted Farrell. Hell, Liz. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh... <laughs> you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. Travis Tate. Look, Liz. You are a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kind of creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. And Charles Ronson. You'd hate it, Liz, but... I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children. After all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything. But they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much. With an intensity that was dazzling. Bruising. And in the end, it killed you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg. I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean, Elizabeth Sobek. There's only one. Huh. I miss you. Lightkeeper protocol? What's that, I wonder? Is there anything else on the side here? <coughs> oh, I can pry open this door. And this one, too. And what is this? Eleuthia runtime check. Alright. Let's start over from Eleuthia 1. <coughs> test. Dr. Brochard Klein, may I seek outside protocol? I suppose so. There's no one to stop you. Doctor, you are fatigued. You have been logging abnormal sleep cycles. Are you suffering from depression? Well, I am trapped in a science facility for the rest of my life. How about you? In a time slice of a quadrillion operating cycles, 10,000 are involved with processing the loss of Dr. Sobek. Mm. I have considered quarantining these processes. Do you think that would be wise? I'm not a psychologist, Gaia, or, or an AI scientist. I, no. It is... natural. At least in the context of the work you and I have accomplished, which begs the meaning of the term natural. She was your creator, the patron saint of this crazy endeavor, our lady of the fervent hypothetical. Even assuming a string of significant failure combinations, Zero Dawn's chances of success are greater than the hypothetical. Huh. Hmm. It's called a manner of speech, Gaia. Take a note. Is there anything else around here? Well, not there. What about in this direction? door that can't be opened yet. 
And another room. Core control log. Hello, Margo. How are you holding up? Um, uh, Dr. Ronson, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Margo, I'm sorry. With Liz gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Okay. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margo. I mean... Maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in his pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? Why do I feel like he did something really bad? And he's connected to what happened? Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. <sighs> stop acting like a machine. Can't you just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel? She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. <sighs> You're thinking that maybe she made it back home. Could she have? Maybe. Did she? I have no idea. I doubt these ruins have much further to go. Looks like it's gonna be a climb up. Probably to here, so we're close. I think I can go a little bit further. <coughs> here we are. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. All right. Oh. Uh. All right. So up there. this one? The Solution, from Ted Farrow. I've, I've been taking over <coughs> this project. In the end, it's simple. It's clean. It's clear. Erasure. Addition by 
subtraction. I can make a better list. With a single stroke, make it all go away. Oh I no. I really don't like the direction this is going. Continue. Neither do I. What did he do? I don't think that was the direction I needed to go. I think I need to go up. Oh yeah, there was a ledge right there. Okay. And that's where it is. That is probably a way out. Let me take a look first. Yeah, this has to be the way out. There's, uh, there's the rope that would take us down and let us out. Which means this is the control room. Okay, well, <coughs> a few minutes short, but for those of you watching on YouTube, I think I'll end it right here. We are so close, at least to trying to solve this. Next episode, we'll head in there and see if we can shut down Hades and bring back Gaia. Will it happen? I have no idea. We're closing in on the end. Either way, that'll be on the next episode. So, until then, I am Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Aloy. This has been a Let's Play of Horizon Zero Dawn. And I shall see you all next time.